In this lecture, we are going to learn about Dijkstra's algorithm for solving GCD of a problem. So this also is a very simple algorithm. So to find the GCD of two numbers M and N, so what you need to do? If both of them are same, then of course GCD will be the same because that number divides both of them. If M is greater than N, you return GCD of M minus N comma N. And if M is less than N, you return GCD of M comma N minus M. Okay, so for example, let's take GCD of 24 and 36. So this will be equal to GCD of, so M is less than N. So it will become GCD of M comma n minus m so 12 and gcd so now this will be equal to gcd of so now this m is greater than n here so this will become equal to gcd of m minus n which is 12 comma n which is 12 so 12 comma 12 gcd is equal to 12 okay so we get the answer so this is also a very simple algorithm okay but it helps us in finding the gcd in using kind of decrease and conquer algorithm okay so let's try to see so we enjoy the proof of this so let's try to see what is the proof because the mathematics behind this is quite interesting so let's try to see the proof for this algorithm so we need to prove that okay so this is the formula gcd of m comma n is equal to m okay so gcd of m comma n is equal to m if m is equal to n this is equal to m minus n comma n if m is greater than n and last one okay so how we prove this so now let's try to see again so we again kind of try to prove okay that if a number a divides b okay and b also divides a exactly this implies a is equal to b so we will prove that okay gcd of m comma n okay so we will just take one this formula and you can prove for other cases so gcd of m comma n we will show that okay divides gcd of m minus n comma n and similarly gcd of m minus n comma n divides gcd of m comma n so let's try to see how it works so now if d is equal to gcd of m comma n if this is the case so what happens is that it means d divides m and d divides n okay so now what happens let's try to see so gcd of now this number m minus n comma n it can be expressed as a linear combination of m minus n x plus n y where x and y are integers and this number this linear combination is the smallest positive linear combination okay so this can be ex expressed like this the gcd but now we know that d divides m and d divides n from the definition so d will divide i can write this as mx plus n y minus x so if d divides m and d divides n and these are integers so it means d also divides this s and hence we prove that okay our d which is the gcd of m comma n this divides gcd of m minus n comma n so we have proved that okay gcd of m comma n divides gcd of m minus n comma n okay this is proved so now we have to prove the other way around that okay gcd of m minus n comma n divides gcd of m comma n okay so how we prove let's try to see so now how we prove this so d divides m so d divides n so this is we proved so d divides gcd of m minus n comma n okay so this was done Now let d dash be equal to gcd of, okay, 
d dash is gcd of m minus n comma n and d dash it means it divides m minus n and it also divides n okay and if d dash divides n then it means that if d dash divides m minus n it means d dash also divides m so we now know that okay d dash divides both m and n okay so now let's move forward so if d dash divides m and d dash divides n so g c d of m comma n can be represented as m x dash plus n y dash okay x and y dash are integers and this is the smallest positive linear combination okay so now d dash which divides m and which divides n will easily divide this linear combination too because d divides m and d divides n so this x dash y dash are integers so they are divisible so this g c d we show that okay g c d of m comma n okay so g c d of m minus n comma n divides g c d of m comma n hence what we have proved that okay a divides b and b divides a it means a is equal to b so it means g c d of m comma n is equal to g c d of m minus n comma n if m is greater than n similarly you can prove for this one and this is very trivial so this proves the dijkstra's algorithm for finding the gcd and it's very good algorithm okay